Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. These days when everything is on sale, it's sometimes hard to discern what's a good deal and what's not, but I'm telling you what is a good deal when it comes to Fox Forks. This is a Performance Elite Fox 34 that I bought just to rebuild my Yeti Arc behind me. And in this video, I'm gonna take a close look and see if this is worth it or not. I assume one of the reason why Fox is purging these forks at uh, discounted prices is because they're getting ready for their new generation Fox forks. You have probably seen spy shots of the new reverse arch Fox forks. Obviously I have no idea when those are going to be coming, but I found this on discounted price about 30%, so I jumped on it, but here's what I got in the box. In typical Fox style, fork is delivered and this big mama box. You can see here the hashtag rightfox, rightfox.com. And here at one end, this is where you're gonna find the details of the fork that you just bought. In my case, this is a 2022 fork. Maybe that's the reason why they're so discounted. This is Fox 34 float uh, style 29er. And you can see 130 fit four damper three position adjustment, matte black. As usual, this is made in Taiwan. And here at the top, you're gonna see the part number of this fork. Fork is wrapped in plastic, something that SRAM doesn't do anymore. And you see these pieces of cardboard keeping it in place. And here at the other end, you're gonna see a few more things. You get a few volume spacers. Here's a Fox sticker. In the little bag, you get a star knot. This is a cable clamp and you're gonna get one a Fox tuning guide. And finally, this is a owner's manual. I would re recommend to take a look at these if you're not familiar with the Fox forks in general. And as soon as you get the fork out, it looks like quality. You can see that newly redesigned arch. This is the matte black. The stickers are silver with that dark gray. This is a boost fork, something that's very easily visible right here on the axle. You see the 15 by 110. And this is a QR, so it's easy to remove. It's Performance Elite, like you see right over there. And this at the back of the fork legs, this is a table that will give you some ideas on how to start to configure your suspension. Here at the back, you're gonna see uh, those, again, redesigned lowers, the extra channels that are supposed to lubricate your uh, foam rings right here at the top of the lower legs. Here on this side, you're gonna see that this can be used with 27.5 plus or 29er wheels. And at the other end, you're gonna see that this is the extra volume spring. They call it the Evol, and yes, you can adjust it with the included volume spacers. You would remove this top cap and use that shredder valve to adjust it for the proper sag. And if SRAM is using a cassette tool to allow you to remove either the air spring or the damper of the fork, Fox kept the 26 millimeter socket to open up the fork to service it. And talking about this right hand side, this is the Fit4 damper with that open, medium and firm three positions. For the open position, you also have that adjuster with it's usually about 20 clicks. This is the same damper that's used in the Fox 34 SC step cast, the one with the lowers being a bit closer together and a bit lighter than this. At the bottom of that right leg, you're gonna see confirmation that you're working with a Fit4 damper. And here you're gonna have the rebound adjuster. This provides you with 20 clicks of adjustment from fully closed. On the back of the arch, you're gonna see two threaded holes. This is for the same cross type of mud guards. They're not as nice as the SRAM ones though, so I prefer to use the flexible ones. Here at the back, you're gonna have the serial number and the QR code. If you scan that, you get to their website. As for the steer, 
here it is nine and a half inches or 24.5 centimeters and as this is considered a trail fork not an xc fork the post mount for your brake caliper will take 180 millimeter rotors by default you cannot install 160 and the maximum rotor size specified by fox is 203 millimeters and for a trail fork, the weight is pretty good, 1769. And obviously you're gonna have to add a star knot and that little hose clip, 1782. However, you're definitely not gonna use it with this full length steer. You're probably gonna cut a couple of inches or two and a half inches. So 782 minus something like 30 grams, you were talking about 1750 grams for the fork. Remember, this is the one with the fit for damper. If you were to go for the grip to damper, that would make the fork heavier by about 100 grams. Remember, this is a trail fork that was redesigned two years ago, and you would be tempted to think that the only difference between Performance Elite and Factory is the anodized stanchions on these forks as opposed to the Kashima coating. However, if you look carefully at the website, you're gonna see that they are limiting the availability of some options with forks like Performance Elite. One being only 130 millimeter travel, two being only fit for damper and not the grip to damper, and only comes in 44 millimeter offset. Mind you, I don't know who would be using 51 these days on any fork. Otherwise, this Performance Elite includes all the advancements from the factory forks introduced in 2021. That's redesigned arch. You have the bypass channels here at the back, the new Evolution Spring. So all the goodies with the exception of the availability of the grip to damper, but you can upgrade this fork to that if you really want to. So what do you guys think about this Performance Elite? Is this in your basket? Are you looking for something like this for your future build? For me, I think this is a great value. I don't mind the fit for a damper. This is actually performing very well and it's served as well in the last quite a few years. Uh, if I was to buy again, sure, I would look for the grip too. But uh, if this was, like I said, 30% discounted, I'll go for the uh, fit for in a heartbeat. What about you folks buying any of these discounted products these days? Did you find anything crazy out there in the marketplace you wanna share with us? Let us know in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Why not running a Fox 34 fork? Cheers, guys. Cheers.